hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i have another pick a card reading this pick a card reading will be what does your person tell their friends or what does your person and their friends say about you behind your back so i have four positive shoes from today the first pile will be this crystal second pile will be this crystal third pile will be this crystal and then the fourth pile will be this crystal so use your intuition the best that you can, and I'll see you at your reading. Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. So let's see what your person and their friends talk about regards to you and any random messages. No reversals, please, bear. Or please help me with the reversals. What is power one? What do they say about power one? What do they talk about? What is brought up? What is brought up about power one? Thank you. Two of Cubs for the first card. Hmm. Yeah, the king of swords in reverse so this person could definitely have a toxic air sign friend or this person could be very secretive about the connection they don't really because they have a toxic air sign friend or they just have a toxic a, a friend that i don't know for some of you guys it could this could be it doesn't these are random messages so it doesn't have to pertain to you i'm just gonna speak randomly what else am i getting because this was at the top of the deck. With the Two of Cups, though, let's see. Because you guys are definitely in a relationship, some type of committed relationship. King of Wands, <laughs> upright. For some of you guys, this person has a friend that is attracted to you as well. So this could be why they don't really talk about you as often or when they do talk about you, it kind of like, it perks their friend's ears up or like it makes their ears, like it makes them like, I don't know, like this person's really like, I don't know, this person could, yeah, this person just has like a friend or for some of you guys, they have a friend that has a crush on you or is like very sexually attracted or this, this is the type of friend that would try you when your person is not around or yeah, this person could have a friend that compliments you a lot as well or looks at you a lot, checks you out a lot, looks at your butt, looks at you bend over, looks at you do little things or they could compliment you a lot or just like stare at you a lot when you come around. Or I'm getting also the King of Wands could be your person. What they talk about is like how good the sex is between the two of you. So they could brag a lot about the sex, how good you are in bed, or how good they like, how how much they make you moan, how much they make you want it, how much they make you like beg for it. Like they could also tell their friends that you're like addicted to the sex. You always want to have sex with them. You always want to come over and have sex. And the sex is like really, really good. Yeah. Like this person like brags about how they make you crazy over their D game and stuff like that. So this is definitely someone who kisses and tells. So this could, this makes sense of why their friends will want to try you too, because they're like kissing and telling everything. Like little details, maybe how wet you are, how good it is, how like how you snatch back, how you throw it back. And it's making their friend like, hmm. It's like making their friend's ears like perk up or their tail like wag. <laughs> so that's why maybe when you come around, they're always like sniffing up your, your ass. Or for some of you guys, they're not even telling their friends how good the sex is. They just know it's good. So just, I just saw, yeah, because you saw the king of stories in reverse like also be that secretive energy so their friends could just feel like the sex is really good 
because of how your person is acting when you come around. So say like they're all like talking or they're out and about and you call their phone or you text them, they immediately check their phone or they're immediately like, like oh, I gotta go, I gotta do something. And they know that they're going to come see you, if that makes sense. So they like, as soon as you text, they, they immediately like, their focus goes to you. Or when you come around, they're like, they're, their demeanor changes or something like that. So that's what makes them feel like you have some type of like, you have them whipped or they really, really like you. It could just be too that they really, really like you. Like their friends know that they really, really like you get the moon. Hmm, that just changed up the whole vibe. So I feel like this person brags a lot about the connection. Got the death card. So I'm gonna split the deck. Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Sag, Leo. Aries. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Placements. Queen of Swords. Oh, you guys could be separated right now possibly you could have cut them off for some of you guys these are just random messages but yeah some of you guys could have cut them off or you could be an air sign you have air sign placements airy i mean aries energy empire empress and the ace of swords this person's still spying on you if you did cut them off you did break up with them this feel spying on you and they're going to come forward soon. The King of Wands is somebody taking action towards, they want this. They want a connection. They want a commitment. Some of you guys, they could have messed up. So they talked to their friends about, I don't even think, because this person's so like in this Emperor energy, King of Wands energy, that even if you guys have broken up, they're not finna, yeah, with the Four of Pentacles, they're not finna tell their friends that your guys broken up. Especially if they know their friends want you, especially if some of these friends they can't trust. Or especially these friends. I don't know. You could just be very pretty. But I just feel like they don't want anybody else to have a chance with you. So they're definitely, if you guys did break up, they're not telling their, a certain friend. Or certain friends in the friend group. Like, they probably could tell specific friends that they can trust. But they're not. Yeah, the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like they are telling, like, a particular friend that you guys might have broken up. But they're not going to tell everybody because then they're going to be like, no. You know, they want their friend, like, they're still acting like you guys are together. So, yeah, with the moon, I feel like they're still acting like you guys together if you guys did break up or if you guys aren't talking as much. Or even if you're just mad at them right now. With the Queen of Swords, you could just be mad at them. So, whenever you're mad at them, they don't tell their friends when you're mad at them. For whatever reason, because they want... Which is, a that's like a pretty smart move, though. That's like that's like a, a couple arguing. Like this is someone who know yeah, the higher font, this is someone who King of Cups under that. And then the four of wands. Yeah, it's like this is like someone who this is very mature energy a little bit. I was getting this is mature energy now because it's like when they when the home isn't happy, why would you go to Twitter? Why would you go to Instagram? Why would you like tell your friends? Why would you tell your family when you know that you guys are gonna come right back? Yeah, four of cups in reverse. Why would you, you don't want anybody to know like the weaknesses in the connection because then that's when people think that they can like play around with the connection. So there's definitely someone who has feelings involved. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> but this is like when you basically, when they do talk about to their friends, they brag about the connection, they kiss and tell, they, they don't ever talk about the bad times you guys have, if that makes sense. They handle that on their own with the moon. They get back right with you with the wand, with the king of wands facing two of cups. This is someone who makes it right before they go back and like tell their friends and whine. And because I feel like that's female stuff as well. I feel like females should actually stop doing that as well because that's when like, you know, you're creating drama. You're creating like. You don't want people to, especially on social media, you don't want people to know that your relationship's not, when it's rocky. 
because then it's gonna be awkward when you guys come back together and they bring you around their friends and family because you were just talking all this shit about them and now it's like you're coming back you're bringing this person back around but i thought you were done with them you know what i mean so it's like this person's just not trying to make it awkward i feel like but yeah that's what i have for you pop one if it did help and it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hello pal two welcome to your reading so this will be what is discussed with your person and their friends what is talked about behind this person's behind the viewers back king of cups on the pop out empress for some of you guys they could be telling their friend that they're a father now because the king of, the king of cups is definitely a father a new father a great father emotional pre emotionally and available present loving father could also be just a water sign father um we got the empress yeah the reason why i said that is because the empress so um yeah they could be telling their friends that they want to be a father that they're about to become a father or that they're trying to be like they're trying to have they're trying to get you pregnant or they're trying to start a family with you you guys could be married you guys could be boyfriend or girlfriend whatever it is they just are telling their friends that you could possibly be pregnant or they think you're gonna get pregnant pretty soon or somebody could have had a dream about fish and that just confirmed it like a bunch of fish too so yeah they could just be telling their friends that they're trying to get you pregnant or you want to or you told them recently you want to become pregnant or you want to have their child or you guys are trying for a baby something to do with pregnancy is talked about they could be saying that they're scared they're going to get you pregnant or like they recently took you to to see if you were pregnant to get a pregnancy test so they took you to the clinic or something like that something to do with pregnancy and yeah so for some of you guys they they're saying that they're they don't think they're ready they hope that they're ready or they are ready like they're trying to like trap you i don't know what it is you're trying to trap them or it's just like a loving like literally they could be telling their friend that they're happy that you're pregnant like like excited like planning for the pregnancy they want to get a baby room yeah tower they want to get a baby room they want to get like your this person is someone like they want to get their life started with you the higher font in reverse this is definitely i feel like gonna change everything though in their life yeah it's gonna change well of course it's a baby whether you guys honestly for those of you guys that is it wasn't planned and those of you guys that is completely planned it's consensual between both people honestly it's consensual between both people even if you guys like eat honestly it's consensual between both people if you guys both equally decide to have sex raw with no plan b no part no um with, with birth control and stuff like that when you guys equally know there's no birth control involved you guys haven't been taking plan b's you guys haven't been having sex with a condom it's both it's consensual you guys know what's going to come out of that especially if you guys are having a lot of sex but um nonetheless i feel like what they're telling like it's going to change things whether you guys planned it or didn't plan it it's going to change things in their life so they could be telling their friends that or their friends could be telling them like it's going to change your life this is going to change your life if she gets pregnant i'm hearing like this is like what i'm hearing if she gets pregnant it's going to change everything like it's going to change everything you got going it's going to like take up all your time your money your f like it's going to take up everything in your life like they could be telling their friends like you're still young you still haven't explored your options or they could be telling their, like their friends could be telling your person like you just moved in this area or you're just getting settled or you're just like you just yeah you just started your career or you just graduated from college or even if you guys are young young i feel like they're like you're way too young like no their friends are like trying to talk them out of it i feel like these are random messages though So it won't resonate for all of you guys, but I'm getting, I'm hearing that conversation of just like the French kind of like, are you sure you want to do that right now? King of Cups in reverse. It was upright at first, but now it's in reverse. So they could have, 
they're very emotional right now is what they're telling they're like they're emotional right now they're like up and down about the pregnancy they're up and down about getting you pregnant they're up and down about <sighs> for some of you guys they you could possibly already have a child so they're telling their friends that you have a child already and they could possibly like talk about like stepdads or their friends are joking about how he's a stepdad or something like that. The viewer, their their friends are laughing about how your person's a stepdad, or they're like, you need it. You are a stepdad. Like it's not even a joke. For some of you guys, not even a joke. It's like you're gonna be a stepdad. Cause it's like if you choose to have kids with this person, you're gonna have to take on their kids as well. It's gonna be a blended family, especially if this is already, especially if they have kids of their own as well. It's just gonna be a blended family because the King of Cups, this person can have kids of their own. You can have kids of your own. So it's like, if you guys wanna have kids, it'll be a mutual, has to be like, yeah, so their friends could be saying that it could be possibly it'd be a lot of drama. Like these are the things to look forward to or these are the things to expect or these are the things to prepare for especially if it is like a blended family. You know, the king of wands in reverse. Yeah, because you could have somebody that's not happy about this, like a baby daddy. <laughs> or they could be wondering if you have a baby daddy that's crazy. Because this person could be equally as fit, like equally as like crazy about you as well. So like, like they're just wondering right now. They're all over the place. But also it could be like, Honestly, for some of you guys, these are random messages. So for some of you guys, since the King of Wands came up with the King of Cups, they could be telling their friends how you pissed them off recently or something you did pissed them off. Something they saw, something you did, something you said, something they heard about pissed them off with the tower. It triggered the hell out of them. It really, really triggered them. They could have made them jealous. Yeah, they're telling their friends something made them jealous or something made them like really like upset. An argument you guys had or them finding out about another option with the two of wands or you not knowing what you want is kind of pissing them off. They could be telling their friends that you're very indecisive and they're kind of over it. They're tired of it, especially if they're, yeah, like your indecisiveness is making them feel like don't make this person pressure you to having a baby, pal. Three, if that's accurate. No, this is pal two. Don't let this person pressure you to having a baby if that's what they're angry about. But for some of you guys, it could be other things. You guys know better than I do. The Ten of Cups. And the Star Reverse. The Ten of Cups wanted to come out specifically. So yeah, they want a family. They want love, they want commitment, they want emotional security from you. That's what they tell their friends. Like they want a life, queen of wands, but you could be still in these streets. This could be what's pissing them off because you're still in these streets. Queen of cups at the top. But this is also giving me girlfriend, boyfriend energy. Yeah, so they're giving me boyfriend, girlfriend energy. This person wants to move in. Nine of Pentacles. But some of you guys are indecisive about this big transformation with the tower. The viewer, you're indecisive about the big transformation because you would have to like, kind of like, basically you would have to submit to them. You have to take on their last name. You would have to move all your stuff into their place. You would have to go through a big transition, especially if you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy and this Queen of Wands energy. So basically, you would have you would have to come to a comp compromise for them. So because maybe it's like, I don't know. It's a lot. And Queen of Cups turning turning from the Queen of Wands to the Queen of Cups is kind of difficult. I'm not gonna lie, because this is someone who's single, independent, um, thriving. Um, in her masculine energy, in her like all about her. And the Queen of Cups is submissive. She's very giving. She's all about everybody around her. She's about her family. She's submissive to her partner. Yeah, 
right up right under it is someone who's submissive to her partner queen of wands is someone who's very powerful she can do everything by her own with the tower above it so it's like i feel like it's like you coming you you having a transition into a mom or you having a transition into like in the queen of cups energy like a more feminine subtle energy could be a little bit hard for you but it'll just be a big change or it could be something you want to do and this person's putting it into motion for you because you want you want to be submissive you want to have a soft life a soft a soft life a soft girl life a soft pretty girl life you don't want to be in this hard masculine energy anymore you actually want to submit to somebody so they could be having conversations about their friends about basically taking this next step whether it's getting you pregnant whether it's moving in whether it's um asking you to be their girlfriend their wife whether it's just something of next level commitment that's going to change everything and their their friends are kind of like are you ready for this are you sure how do you know she's a one blah 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 stuff like that so that's what i have for you if it did help and it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hello pile three welcome to your reading so let's see what your person and their friends talk about when it comes to you What is pile three's person on their mind? What do they talk about when it comes to the viewer? I could have told it. Okay, let's see. Because I just saw. Uh, they 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 are like suspicious that you're a witch in this pile. But they are picking up some of the signs. You could have a cat, you could light candles, you could I don't know, you could have the aesthetic of a witch, you could wear crystals, something about like their curiosity to your spirituality and stuff like that. Could they they're like very curious of they could see tarot cards. They could see whatever it is. Like they could see chakra things. They could just see something where they feel like. Cause I saw the high priestess. Now I'm seeing the um, Libra cards. So you could have Libra in your chart, Pisces in your chart. Um, you could have Gemini in your chart. But I feel like things just work out in your favor. Ten of Cups. This person loves kissing you. They love being up under you. They love like being intimate with you, honestly. We got the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag placements are here. But they just, they could tell their friends that they love the sex. They tell their friends that this person, oh my gosh, I don't want to go there. But with all these kids in the back, you kind of get what I'm, this person could tell their friends that they be, um, finishing inside of you and stuff like that i don't know why like they honestly girls talk about their sex life so i'm pretty sure guys talk about their sex life i mean it's just normal so i feel like they tell their friends that some of you guys tell their friends that you're a milf or their friends that already know you're a milf but the ten of cups are giving you have multiple children or you have multiple children with them or you're gonna have multiple children with them is what they tell their friends. Like they're gonna give you multiple children, multiple babies by the star card. Honestly, you can't even see my movie. Really. Ace of Wands. Aquarius energy is here, fire sign, water signs. What do they tell their friends? What do they say behind your back? Some of, they, some of them, they can feel like you have a lot of bodies or you have a reputation or they just feel like you have a lot of bodies. 
with all these skulls here and all these cups here and all these kids. I have a lot of pretty tattoos, leg tattoo. You guys could have a leg tattoo specifically that these guys like or that your guy like, that your person likes. I feel like your person likes all your tattoos. That's not annoying me, so I'm gonna pause the video. <laughs> okay, so we got the four of um, cups. So they could also be telling their friends that they want you to make you a stay at home girlfriend. Sheila definitely like she's like staying at home, like waiting for her boyfriend to come home. So this could be one of their fantasies. We got the seven of cups. This definitely could be one of their fantasies and they tell their friends like, or they joke around with their friends, but they're like dead serious that they want to make you a stay at home girlfriend, a stay at home wife or whatever. And just have you like staying at home under their care and waiting for them to come home. Yeah, they want you to live a soft life a soft girl life another pile was like that but i feel like this is different messages because i feel like you guys are in a relationship in this pile you guys are like in a relationship with the ten of cups coming up first you guys are in a relationship there's no confusion about this you guys are in a committed relationship look how they comfortably look with each other you guys definitely bring out the best in each other i'm getting deja vu you guys bring out the best in each other they got the sun card the sun card so you got most of you guys that pick this pile you have an amazing body you have an amazing body like stomach structure i feel like for this pile if you are a mom even if you're not a mom you're you snatch back like, this could be my power where you have a fast metabolism. You could just have a really nice body. You could work out, you could love to work out. And if you don't work out, it's just like, you have like an athletic looking body. Even if you don't think so, they think so. So like they're friends and then have a conversation about how nice your body is. Because in this card, she looks very, like, fit. And this one, too. What else do we talk about? Other than your tattoos, your body, and you being a stay-at-home girlfriend. <laughs> Tower. That's just giving me confirmation on they want you to be a stay-at-home girlfriend, wife, baby mama. Like they just want to take care of all the burdens with this with this imagery right here it's giving me they want to take care of all your burdens yeah you could have had multiple baby daddies before them or you had multiple i don't know some of you guys are like i don't even have kids at all well you better be careful with this person if you don't have kids at all because you're gonna have a whole village behind this person got the devil yeah. They want to keep you in the house. The Four of Cups with the devil too. And with this imagery and like the kids here. This person wants to keep you in the house. You make them very, very happy. Like you make them very, very happy. They just want to like... I'm getting for some of you guys, it's equal. Like they feel like they're thinking with their devil side and they're thinking with their light attributes when it comes to like the reasons why they want you to be a stay at home girlfriend. Cause first of all, you're, you're pretty. This is someone who, if you post on your story, after you get your hair done, you look nice, they would not like that. Like stop, like stop what you're doing. Like don't post on your story no more. You're about to make me upset. <laughs> or if you go outside, like the other type, I feel like you're the type of, the viewer that picked this pile, you're the type where if you go out to the mailbox, you finna get stopped. Like people are gonna honk their horn at you. People are gonna start to talk to you at the mall. If you go anywhere by yourself, people are gonna talk to you. They already know this. But at the same time, they just love your company with the sun. 
yeah this person loves your company because they look very comfortable in that card right there they just want you to not have to work as hard because she looks like she's like exhausted queen of wands energy is like the single mother strong independent you take care of everything on your own Or she's just single period and has a lot to deal with. The seven of swords for what they talk about their friends. Yeah, they don't want you outside, basically. Is what's being discussed. But you're the one for them, especially with Ten of Cups. Like, you're not gonna be single. And if you're single and you live by yourself, you're not gonna be single and living by yourself any, like, any longer. Because this is someone who knows who you are. And then, like, this is someone who sees you as an empress. Why would you let the empress be out? Like, if the Seven of Swords gave me, like, why would you let the empress be, like, available for anybody else I wouldn't be surprised if this person is not I wouldn't be surprised if this person is like looking up wedding rings and stuff like that, but like, what I tell their friends is like, yeah, I don't want to keep repeating myself. I'm gonna get one more card. How they want a commitment, and how you guys are committed, and how they want to take things even further into like possibly getting joint accounts, sharing. Like, they want to share everything with you, they want to give you everything. They want you to live a soft life, a feminine, beautiful life off of the strength of them alone. They don't want you to go to nobody else for help. They don't want you to have to go like, you know? And for, this is definitely daddy. This is big D energy. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Why would you let the Empress be in the Nine of Pentacles energy? for too long. Like, you're a catch. Eventually you're gonna be caught. So they're not trying to waste no time with the emperor coming up too. They wanna make you, they wanna make sure you're after, extra comfortable with the Four of Cups, is what they're telling their friends. They could be actually asking, honestly for this part, I feel like those of you guys that you know, their, friend, their other friends are actually in a relationship they're asking their friends that are actually married and have kids, like older friends possibly for advice on how to propose to you or how to go about it the right way. So they're, they're honestly feeling for this part, they're asking for advice from like an older couple or a, a friend, a best friend that's well trusted that has already like settled down and has like who they trust, who they would actually listen to for relationship advice. This is not someone who's going to go to single friends and ask them how to go about it because they're obviously single for a reason, right? This person's not emotionally unattail un This person's not emotionally like dumb. So they do have single friends, they know not to go to them. But they do talk to you, I guess, to their single friends like I don't know. But yeah, that's what I have for you, Paul. 3 for the help, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in my next post. Hello, Pop 4. Welcome to your reading. So this will be, what does your person talk about with their friends when you're not around?
They could be telling their friends that it's hard to get you to like commit. Or it's hard to get you to calm down. It's hard to put you like try it's hard to like please you. It's hard to calm you down. It's hard to like get you to settle down. It's hard to get you to just like because the knight of swords definitely gave me someone who's anxious someone who wants to explore someone who wants to just who's very talkative very explosive someone who's very like free-spirited so they could tell their friends that like you're very um how can i explain it I just lost my train of thought. Do y'all guys, do you guys do that a lot in this pile? You guys could be a big dreamer, a daydreamer. You guys could just, I'm getting a very childlike energy. So what they tell their friends is like, she is like a lot to handle basically. Like this, she is a lot to handle. King of Wands. We also got the King of Queen of Swords. So you could definitely be an air sign or you have air placements. We got the moon. And the top of the deck. I was getting cancer energy, but we got the fire sign. So it could be a f this is someone who's very passionate about you. There's definitely someone who's willing to chase you. There's definitely someone who's embarrassed that they're chasing you possibly, or they're embarrassed that they're putting in so much effort to get you to commit and to get you to settle down. Like this is someone who definitely finds you to be very entertaining, very funny, very um, fair, very smart, very witty, very like goofy, very like dreamy, like you daydream a lot. Like how I lost my train of thought. But they also have a fear of like you never committing or you never being satisfied completely because you always want to stick your feet in things like you always want to get you could be someone who likes to start things and don't finish it you can definitely be the bride with cold feet the runaway bride this is like my runaway my runaway bride in this pile so they, what they tell their friends is like yeah you're a handful like you're full of drama as well. Cause the Queen of Swords could be you're full of drama. You could gossip or you just make up, the, like you could just be an overthinker as well. You have anxiety. They could find you to be very impatient as well. Like, but this is someone who's gonna apply pressure. I feel like they have been applying pressure. And I feel like this is someone who can handle you. Even though you're hard to handle, I feel like this is someone who can handle you. If it takes a special type of person to handle somebody like you. basically so if you felt like you were too much or you were like this and that or you just i don't know you're uncompliant this person feels like this is just who you are i feel like this person just accepts you is what they talk to their friends about like yeah this is my person yeah i know she does this and that yeah i know she um can be a little bit flighty yeah i know she could be a bit anxious yeah i know she could be a bit flirty yeah you could flirt queen of swords and the knight of swords can definitely be flirting you flirt you could flirt in front of this person you could flirt online you could you could you could post thirst traps you could reply sometimes to like people that heart your story i don't know you just flirt you're very free free spirited you like to like you could be an entertainer. You like to entertain. You are very entertaining. So I feel like you could need and want attention all the time. You're like an attention whore. You seek attention. You love seeking attention. You love being the center of attention. So I feel like this person kind of like, yeah, my person. I know my person flirts. I know my person does this and that, but it's like harmless. Yeah, a lot of air signs do that and they feel like it's harmless. Like, no, I didn't mean, like, no, but you talk to me that way. So if you're talking, if you talk to me that way, why are you talking to the cashier like that? Like, I see, like, a couple arguing or something. Why are you talking to the cashier like that when you, like, why are you smiling at your ex like that? Or why are you even texting your ex back? Or why are you, like, it's just things that I feel like 
you do that is like very unacceptable but it's like this person knows that you i don't know this person's just willing to deal with you basically they could be a little bit embarrassed or they could actually hide they could honestly for this part i feel like they hide how much they two of pinnacles very very you're very indecisive it's hard for you to make up your mind but i feel like this person your person they hide how much they do for you and how much they extend their arm to you. Because they could be a little bit embarrassed that they put up with certain things from you. Because they could see it as like very toxic or taboo or... It takes a special type of person, like I said, it takes an open-minded person to deal with you and your shenanigans. You know, the Ace of Swords. So this is not someone who's willing to let you go at all. No, not, no time soon with the King of Wands. So what they tell their friends is you're not going anywhere. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. You know, they tell their friends. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. And that they're going to get you to commit. Or you are committed to them. Because the Knight of Pentacles versus the Knight of Swords is two different energies. That's like her coming back more calm, more subtle. So yeah, they could be telling their friends that they're trying to like tame you, break you, not even humble you, but they're getting they're telling their friends that they're getting you to be submissive to them. Basically, that's what I'm getting. She's more submissive to the to this King of Wands energy more way more um compliant or they could just be lying <laughs> but in reality you're the one that's like running the show with the queen of swords or it could actually be for real like they are getting you to commit or they are getting you to be submissive but for some of you guys you're not you're not submissive at all yeah we got the queen of pentacles So they could tell their friends that they spoil you. So you're not going anywhere. Because they spoil you, you're not going anywhere. Because they're giving you the world, you're not going anywhere. Because they're giving you all these nice things, you're not going anywhere. Because because they're applying pressure, they're not worried about you going anywhere. Even though you're scattered brain, even though you're fickle, because they always because you know where home is. Kind of like that energy of like you know where you know who daddy is, you know where home is, you know who's spoiling you. And you know who got it for real. Like you know who got it for real. Cause it's definitely someone who's like, this is a feminine who's relaxed, more relaxed. This person is definitely grounding you though, I feel like. They're grounding you. Cause you could definitely be an air sign or have air an air moon or something. Hermit, fool. You're very beautiful. Your legs are very beautiful. Look at her legs. Oh my gosh. Wow. You're very beautiful to this person. So they talk about how beautiful you are to their friends. That might be one of the first things. Yeah. They look what we got at the top of the deck when I said that. They're kissing her feet. So they definitely have conversations about how beautiful you are. You're very beautiful. I'm gonna get one more and I'm gonna close it. What did they talk about behind this person? Behind the viewer's back? What did they talk about? They definitely feel like you're not going nowhere, yeah. Look at her, she's not going nowhere. 
So that could be why they're so like confident and like even though you're flirty a bit, you know at the end of the day that they're gonna ground you, they're gonna be the one to give you things, they're gonna be the one to like spoil you, they're gonna be the one to like do all of these like things for you. So like you flirting is like little to them or they're learning to deal with it because it's like you're not going anywhere is how they feel. This is someone who's definitely confident about the connection so like those things aren't really they don't care about it because this person could be very wealthy and they could be very financially abundant so it's like that alone is making them very confident because you need somebody like they feel like you need somebody like that because you're so full of life and you're so like childlike and you just want to do things so they have the money for you to do things you know what i'm saying it's kind of like you're going to like your your daddy or somebody to give you like money to go to the fair or go to the movies or go hang out with your friends or go to the club or go get your nails done they like they know that i don't know it's like kind of like that like you're not going to go to mom you're going to go to dad because you know dad's going to give you a yes type of energy i don't know so that's what i have for you if it did help and it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next post